They keep the bad works of sin out of your core. They use up the bad nutrients in the ground where you are planted and leave better ones behind like love and patience and joy and long-suffering. Henry Nouwen once said, our personality comes from our suffering. Our long patience from our long suffering, we become who I am. Those times of dry knees and times of barren winter are also for your benefit. From time to time, we feel that our life is so desolate, no color, it's like a gray, no feeling. Where are you, O oh Lord? We sense that we are standing in a barren, the dry land, in the cold winter. But it seems like you could use a good spiritual fertilizer or a good watering. God knows what you need to produce the best fruit. Then God sends the people to water your life. Then God calls you to an organize the schedule of a daily watering through his word so that you can produce the best fruit. And then there's the pruning, cutting off. God only wants the best fruit to proceed from you. And sacrificing some of the early fruit will encourage the reminder to grow big and sweet. From time to time, I have a wonderful conversation with the Reverend Kim. Reverend Kim asked me when we talk about our ministry. Then she challenged me. No, 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 no. Forgot the past things. Forget it. Make it clean. Make it empty. From totally new perspective. If anything is possible, what do you want to say? That really reminds me the challenge coming from God. You know, my life and our lives are in death and dying. Our life continues for a while on earth, continually dying at the same time. Without having the empty space behind our being, our decision, And our life is like a small fruit. So pruning, sacrificing the past, cutting off the branches, those need to have a best fruit in our life. You know, It takes five to seven years before trees begin producing a good crop of fruit. And that's only if they've been well tended. God is in the fruit producing business and you and I got the trees. He wants good fruit So he goes to great lengths to make good trees. He factors in the age, the soil type, the sun exposure, the temperature. He waters, he prunes, and fertilizes as needed. When Christians become good trees, they naturally begin to produce good fruit. For every tree is known by its own fruit. For men do not gather figs from thorns, nor do they gather grapes from a bamboo bush. 
A good man out of the good treasure of his heart brings forth good, and an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart brings forth evil. What is the fruit? It is your words. It is our words Christ wants us to listen to. Words reveal our heart. Your words reveal your heart. Have you ever listened to what comes out of your mouth? The words when you pray, the words when you talk, the words when you speak on the phone. Just to listen, just to listen to yourself for some time. When you talk to others, do you always try to turn the conversation back to yourself? A person with a proud heart always tries to turn the conversation back to themselves. Listen to what you say, and you may find yourself doing this. As I am a champion in doing this, as I always try back every story to myself, to my concern. I'm genius. I'm a sinner. When you are about to turn the conversation to a story about yourself, then stop and ask yourself. Do I really need to tell this story? Do I really need to make this statement? Why don't I, instead of sharing my story, ask the other person to share more about theirs? That shows an interest in them, rather than a proud interest in only myself. When you talk to others, does your conversation turn to taking ne negatively about other people, about rulers, and those in authority and leaders that reveals a heart filled with the gossip and slander, maybe even hate? This is what I committed during the past week. As I made the bad things to my senior in school, I am a sinner. This is really hard. Whenever I look at my world, I know who I am. When you talk to others, do you complain and bemoan all your problems and struggles? Do you talk only of the things that you don't have and the things that you wish you could buy? Do you talk about how others have nicer houses and newer cars and brand new clothes? Such words reveal a heart that lacks contentment, no satisfaction. When you talk to others, do you only talk about earthly things such as your job, your recreational activities, and the local news without ever turning to spiritual matters at all. These words reveal a heart fixed only on earthly things. Our major area is to listen to your soft talk is when you pray. Your prayers are a window into the condition of your heart. Try to record yourself praying sometime, but just write down your prayer request. How much of your prayers were focused on you and your needs and your request? For most of us, more than 90% of our prayers are focused on me, myself, and I. My health needs, my financial needs, 
my problems, my worries, my concerns, my plans, my future, my family, my children, my ministry, me, 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 me. Check your prayer concern. It's almost a me-centered prayer. I want to stop here. Tomorrow is a Chusak. Chusak is a time of a family reunion. It's a time of sharing the joy and thanksgiving. All family members will come together. Time to celebrate. Family reunion. It's a time of a harvest. What fruits are you going to share? Remember, your fruits are the words of life coming out of your mouth. Your personality, your Christian faith comes from your mouth. Go and share the gift of your gracious word with your family. Don't turn the conversation to a story about yourself all the time. Listen to their stories. Allow them to talk about their stories and share them your words of love, joy, peace, encouragement, and thanks, and trust, and, 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 and so on. Remember that You are what you say, not what you do. Your word is you. Good behavior, looking good, expensive gifts are not enough. That is not all. Your heart felt sweet, warm, and choice word. encouraging word, loving word. That is the best gift that you can give and that you can share with your family. Be your word during the t u s a k I have uh, two resolutions during t u s a k period. Speak less and eat less and encourage more and practice more. and serve more. Let your word be the best gift for your family. Amen.